Kingdom people don't have to test drive the person before we commit to them. Worldly relationships feel like I need to know that you're going to make me happy. I need to know that you're not going to piss me off every day of my life. I need to know that you can do everything I like in the bedroom because their hope and their trust is in themselves. And that's why a lot of people who are in worldly relationships are very confused. They're highly emotional. Their relationships are volatile because they are based on things that are always changing. Greetings Royals, it is Constance with QueenLeanie.com, your place for tips and inspiration on learning love and pursuing that purpose the right way, okay? So normally I'm a movie person, okay? I'm not really a TV show type of person. I usually try to avoid getting interested in TV shows and just stick to movies. You take up two to three hours of my life and I go on about my business. I know what happened. I'm not about to have a panic attack because I don't know what the end is like. I've been watching this show and it's called Married at First Sight. Yeah, I'm hooked on this show. It makes absolutely no sense, but it's so interesting to me to see the relationship dynamics of people who are in a situation like this that has so much pressure on it. I really want this show to do like a kingdom couples version because I've noticed that the rules for relationships for the world is completely different than the rules of dating, relationships, and marriage for kingdom couples, for Christians, for people who are dating with a purpose and who live their lives by the word of God. One couple of particular interest for me was Jasmine and Will, and this is because they had a lot of disagreements on the roles of a man and a woman in a relationship and a marriage. Jasmine's views were more traditional, and Will's, not so much. Like, I mean, I'm gonna take out the trash, and what else is manly? Taking out trash. Paying bills. No, that's 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. You, don't, you don't think so? 50-50 and what? The bills. Just like all of them? The household bills, yeah? I don't think it should be like 50 50. Why? Because a man is supposed to be the protector of the house, he's supposed to be the provider. And that's how I grew up. Like, my dad was a provider. So, therefore, you do believe in gender roles. So, then you probably believe like the woman should be cooking every night. I wouldn't mind that, yeah. I would have thought that an independent woman who does everything for herself, I mean, she would just accept any help. And it concerns me that uh, me and my wife may not be on the same page. I understand a woman can take care of herself, mm -hmm. but that still lessens the load where you have half of what you were dealing with. Okay. You agree? No. No. <laughs> I can definitely take care of things myself. However, I would love to have like a provider come in and take over. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> like for instance, you pay the higher bills and then the wife pays the smaller bills. Can it be like, like 70, 30? Will is surprised that I am wanting a more traditional gender role. Even though I'm a strong, independent woman, I still want to like care for my husband and take care of him. And I want to be married to someone who is a provider and a protector. And it seems Will is not those things. And I don't want to be married to someone who is like that. So I'm not gonna lie, when I first watched this, I was thinking like, girl, you tripping. Like 50-50 is totally okay. But I was thinking of it in the context of the show and kind of comparing it to what was going on with the other couples. But when I really thought about it, what she's saying is not very different from what I want in my own relationship, in my own marriage. And it just really made me think like the rules, the responsibilities, the roles and expectations between people who don't live by the word and don't carry those values 
it's just a completely different set of rules. I think one of the biggest differences from kingdom relationships and worldly relationships is that our values are different. Kingdom people put their hope in things that are eternal. So when they are looking for relationships, husbands and wives, even friends, they look for the purpose. They look for God in this situation. They look for hope, for joy, for peace. But when worldly people are looking for relationships, they're looking for somebody who turns them on, somebody who says all the right things, somebody who makes them feel like they have everything they were missing before, somebody who feels like they're floating on a cloud. Worldly people chase happiness, which is very fleeting and temporary. Kingdom people, we are looking for the purpose in it all. When we are looking for a life partner, we're trying to find somebody who is going to join forces with us and serve the purpose that God put us here for. It's not all rainbows, hearts, and bubbles every day, and we know that. In fact, in the Bible, it says that you are going to be persecuted simply because you are a child of God. We expect tough times. We expect things like that to come, but we know that you might be down at some point, but we overcome. We are victorious, and we're gonna be victorious in every aspect of our lives. So we're not looking for those bubbly feelings when we look for a spouse or a mate. We're looking for somebody who is going to help us become all that God has created us to be. Now don't get me wrong, because when you do things God's way, he is going to look out for you, okay? Kingdom people don't have to test drive the person before we commit to them. We trust God to lead us and guide us, and God does not do anything small, okay? He does everything big. He does everything in a way that is exceeding, abundant, above and beyond all we could have imagined. So we know no matter what we have to go through, no matter how long we have to wait, it's going to be worth it because our hope is in God. Our trust is in God. Worldly relationships feel like I need to know that you're going to make me happy. I need to know that you're not going to piss me off every day of my life. I need to know that you can do everything I like in the bedroom because their hope and their trust is in themselves. And that's why a lot of people who are in worldly relationships are very confused. They're highly emotional. Their relationships are volatile because they are based on things that are always changing. The word of God never changes. God never changes. And when you are depending on God in every aspect of your life, and most of all in your relationships, then you are stable. You have a solid foundation. So, I hope that this helped you. If you made it to this point in the video, I hope that you will give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and share it with somebody who you think needs to hear it. Because the best thing for a single to know is that they're not alone. You can follow me on Instagram at Constance D. Gordon. You can follow Queenly Me at queenly.me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.